Welcome, let us work out this question on formula and variation. It reads, uh, three quantities x, y, and z are such that x varies directly as the square root of y and inversely as the fourth root of z. Uh, when x is equals to 49, y is equals to 25, and z is equals to 56. So uh, part one of the question, supposed to determine the equation connecting x, y, and z for max. So the first thing we're going to do is to write this uh, variation. X varies, x varies directly as the square root of y and inversely as the fourth root of z. So that is how you're supposed to write it. X varies directly as the square root of y and inversely as the fourth root of z. That is how you're supposed to write that. So the next thing is to write the equation now involving a constant. Now we're going to introduce a constant k. You can use any letter, k, a, or any constant. So this is how it's supposed to be. x is equals to the constant k uh, multiplied by root of y divided by this, the fourth root of z. Now, after um, doing that, uh, when x is we are given x is um, 49, x is 49, then y is 25, and z is 256. We should now replace, when we replace these uh, values in the equation, we'll be able to obtain the value of the constant k. So let's go directly. So x 49 is equals to k multiplied by the square root of y which is 25 divided by the fourth root of uh, z which is 256 this gives uh, 49 is equals to k multiplied by the square root of 25 that is 5 the fourth root of 256 is 4 and therefore the value of k will be given by 49 multiplied by 4 over 9 uh, when you work out this using a calculator, you're supposed to get 39.2. Now we have obtained the value of the constant. So the next thing we're going to do is to write the equation. So therefore, the equation, the equation connecting the two will be obtained by x is equals to 39.2, which is k, uh, the square root of y, everything divided by the fourth root of z so that is now the equation connecting x y and z so that is how you're supposed to work out that uh, first part of the question so let's go to the second part of the question part b of the question find the value of z when y is equals to 64 and x is equals to 180 to four significant figures. So all you're going to do is to use the equation connecting x, y, and z. Uh, we obtain that initially. So we write it. So x. Uh, so x is equals to 39.2, the square root of y, divided by the fourth root of z. So we need to substitute the values of x and y in the equation and obtain the value of z. So x is 118 is equal to 39.2 multiplied by the square root of y, which is 64, everything divided by the fourth root of z. Uh, from this level, we just need to cross multiply and obtain the value of z. So 180 multiplied by the fourth root of z, then 1 multiplied by 39.2, then multiplied by the square root of 64 is 8. So to obtain the value of z, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 180. This is what you get. Uh, we get 39.2 multiplied by 8, everything divided by 180. So 
this is what we get when you work out these using the calculator you're supposed to get uh, 1.742 so that is what you get that is what you get that is what you get um, and then to obtain now the value of uh, z we need to uh, raise both sides of the equation to power 4 so this is what you're going to do let me write it um, then 1.742 raised to power 4 so when we raise this uh, fourth root of z to power 4 we remain with z and then raising this to power 4 you get 9.213 and that is uh, correct to four significant figures. So that is how you're supposed to work out that second part of the question. Let's go to the third part of the question. Find the percentage change in X when Y is increased by 44%. So let us go back to the original equation. And the original equation uh, connecting X, Y, and Z, that is what you're using most of the time. So the equation, don't forget, was this, the original without the constant, uh, k, uh, in, this is the square root of y divided by the fourth root of z. Uh, let us use this uh, original equation uh, to work out the percentage change in x. And we are going to take this as the, the original, the original equation. So... When we increase uh, y by 44%, so new y will be 144 over 100 y. And don't forget, we are getting the square root. Because in the equation, y is supposed to get the square root of y. So new y will therefore increase by 44%. So from 100 add 44, 144%. So this will give new y will give um, 1.44 y and then you get square root of this it will give uh, 1.2 1.2 then the square root of y so when you get the square root of 100 uh, this 1.44 is 1.2 then you get the square root of y so that is the new y so in the equation now we shall have a new value of x um, the original value of x is this so the new value of x will be uh, the constant multiplied by uh, 1.2 the square root of y divided by the fourth root of z so simplify this We're supposed to get 1.2 1.2 k then root y everything divide by the fourth root of z so now i want you to look at these two this is the new value of x and then the original is there so to get the percentage uh, change in the percentage change in x would be given by the change divided by the original multiplied by 100%. And these are uh, to get the change, um, the change will be uh, the new value of x, which is 1.2k, the square root of y, and then um, the fourth root of z minus the original. And uh, the original is k, the square root of y, the fourth root of z. This whole of that represents the change. Because you're getting the, um, the new value of x, subtract. You can see there's an increase. Uh, it is changing from uh, 1. Looking at the original equation, the original equation here, k. So k is 1 there, is 1. Then it is changing to 1.2. So you can see there is an increase. Eh? So that is how we obtain the change. And then uh, divide by 
the original and the original is k the square root of y uh, multiply by this is divided by the fourth root of z so this is the original value of x uh, then we multiply the whole of this by 100 so when we get the change the change will be so that is an increase of uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 k uh, this is y square root of y everything divide by the fourth root of z so that is change when you subtract these 1.2 everything else is similar and k square root of y divided by the fourth root of z minus that you get 0 0.2 so that's the change and then the original the original is k with the square root of y uh, the fourth root of z and then multiply everything by 100 so you notice that the whole of these will divide the whole of that will divide so that we remain with 0 0.2 multiply by 100 look at it and this gives uh, 20 percent and this is the increase so that is how we are supposed to work out the whole of that question on formula and variation thank you so much